I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. I thought it'd be fun this week if we worked together and made a floating sea turtle. This is a really easy project and it's really fun. And what you're going to need for this project is my template of a sea turtle, some craft foam, um, a clear plastic cup that's not very deep, some bits of tissue paper in little squares. You're going to need white glue, various shades of greens and blues in paint. And if you just have green and blue, that's fine. You can make it work. Um, and of course, you're going to need a surface that's protected for painting and maybe a paper plate to work on so that you don't get your paint on the table. Um, you're going to need scissors and a pencil and markers, hopefully in green and black. If not, you can just use black. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your template of your turtle and cut, up, cut around the outside. So you just have the, um, the outline of the turtle and trace it on to your craft foam. And after you've traced it, cut out your shape of your turtle. Now, on the template, I have drawn in what you need so if you can you want to transfer that to your foam turtle which I'm using the green marker for this but you can use the black you first you start out and you trace around the mouth of your cup then do all the little lines that I have done on your pattern and give him some flippers and the nose and there's some markings around his collar here so we're doing that so you end up with a green piece of foam that is like your template this actually would be already cut out, but the one I used, I didn't have all the, the lines on it. So, all right, so this is what you end up with. Now you wanna set that aside. Now you're going to paint. And for this, I am using a paper plate for protection. And I'm gonna put a little bit of each color just a little dauble of each color of paint and I'm going to use a paint brush and I'm not going to bother trying to wash it out in between colors what you're going to do is you're going to paint your little plastic cup all over and I'm just taking one color and doing that and as you paint it then put some little pieces of tissue paper on it kind of making a texture and also some differences in the finished thing so um, I'm going to take one of the other colors and kind of dab it on top of this tissue paper. And then I'm going to mix this other color in there too. So you end up with all these different colors and all these different textures on your turtle shell. And this is going to be your turtle shell for your sea turtle. I need a little more of the green. If you don't get a whole bunch of paint, 
on your paintbrush. Then you can dab it, and it won't it won't mix the colors too badly. So you have a differentiation in color, and also you're gonna just have some more texture on here. So what you want to do is is paint this and and cover it with your tissue paper all over and when you're done when it's completely covered you want to set it aside and when you set this aside you let it dry now I happen to have a dry one so this is one I did yesterday and look at that see it's got a little bit of texture and a little bit of color all right so now you're going to take your turtle set him down here and we're going to glue this cup to him so what I will do in that instance is I'm just pouring a little bit of glue out and I'm going to use a different paintbrush And I want to glue, I want to dab glue all the way around the lip of this cup. Now this way I don't get too much glue, but I make sure and get enough glue. Sometimes when we just try to do it, like if we do a mess and set in it, we get too much. Or I can never get my glue to stick to squirt. If your glue squirts, you're quite welcome to forget the paintbrush and just squirt it on. But, see I have glue all the way around the lip, and then I'm going to center it inside the circle that I made with a marker on my turtle. So now, this is my turtle, but I am going to go ahead and do Another part of the project, too, I don't know if I mentioned Google Eyes. We have to have two Google Eyes so that this guy can see. So I'm going to take them, and since I've got my white glue out, I'm going to put white glue on the back of my Google Eye and put it right on the edge of my turtle's head. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. So there my turtle is, and what do you suppose I need to do now? I need to set it aside and let it dry. And when your turtle is dry, he ends up looking like this. And guess what? You can take your turtle and he will float. So you could pour some water in a bowl or a bathtub or a sink and have fun floating your sea turtle. So that's it for this version of Craft Corner Kits to Go and I'll see you next week.